Mm, now we're going to investigate the uh, Wireshark interface. So after you download Wireshark, just double click on the double uh, Wireshark icon and it should start. And you can see that uh, this is the interface, right? Uh, this is where how to start uh, capturing packets. This is how to stop. This is the icon to stop capturing packets. And you can see that it actually gives you a list of all the um, uh, interfaces that you can uh, capture traffic on. So there are multiple interfaces in this uh, virtual machine. And as you can see, um, Ethernet 0 and uh, a look back has a uh, traffic. Right? Uh, so let's take a look at uh, Ethernet uh, 0 uh, adapter. Right? And when you mouse over, you can actually see the IP address there. Uh, Ethernet 0 has an IP address of 192.168.93.129. Alright. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, to start the packet capture, you can either highlight it and click on this icon here, or you can just double click on the interface. I'm going to do the latter. Okay, and uh, you give it a while, it's going to start uh, capturing packets. You're going to start seeing packets coming up here. Again, uh, remember that the uh, IP address that uh, is on the uh, interface is a 192.168 uh, private IP address. Uh, and uh, you can actually verify it by typing in cmd, the command from. Right there, you see the um, traffic is coming in, it's being captured. Right, um, and you can actually type in a uh, IP config, right? And this is going to show you your IP address: one ninety two one sixty eight ninety three dot one two nine. You can see uh, traffic coming in from one two nine going out, and uh, from the outside address, you know, the internet address coming back in to one two nine, the local address. Now. Um, what we can see here is, uh, let's investigate a little bit further, uh, clicking one of the packet. Okay, let's stop the capture. Okay, I'm going to stop the capture. And uh, clicking any of the packet is going to show you the details in this window here. Okay, so if I click, uh, if I go further up and I click, let's say, packet. This is packet number 198. I click on it and you can see uh, it has uh, all the information here. It has the frame information. Right, it has the frame information, it has the Ethernet layer information, so this is the source MAC address followed by the destination MAC address and so on. You are also going to see um, the Internet address, right? So you can see things like, uh, you can see things like the source and destination IP address. So this is a, in this way, this uh, Wireshack is a very powerful tool powerful tool for us um, to capture uh, traffic going in and out of a machine. Now um, you will notice that there is a bar here that says uh, apply a filter, a display filter. right? So what this allows you to do is that uh, as you are capturing traffic, let's, let's, uh, let's uh, restart the capture. Oops. Right, and it's gonna ask you whether you want to save the current uh, packet capture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue without saving. Okay, so I'm gonna discard all these packets that's being captured, right, and uh, start over again. So, um, what this uh, bar here allows you to do is to filter traffic. For example, if I only want to see mm, ping, okay, if I only want to see ICMP traffic, see, I can actually just um, choose ICMP. Okay, so what this is going to do is that uh, it will not show me anything else, right? It will not show me anything else except ICMP. Can you see? Only the ICMP uh, traffic is going to show up, right? So uh, let us uh, do a ping to uh, maybe Google or ping to our gateway 192.168.93.129. You see, as the pings are being generated, they are being captured by the packet tracer. Oh, sorry, the wire shark. Right, and uh, that is how you can uh, use uh, ICMP to. Uh, sorry, that is how you can use the filter to filter specific traffic like uh, ICMP.
So another example, you can capture is ARP traffic, right? Address resolution protocol, right? So as you can see, there are some ARP traffic that has already been captured, right? So example, sorry, for this packet, I mean for this uh, uh, frame, okay, it's an ARP, right? It's an ARP request. Okay, and uh, for this, it's an ARP uh, response. 